What's up guys? Welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host of course, and today when it comes to watchOS 8, I would be happy to let you know that we finally have the next beta, which is watchOS 8 beta 7. This beta comes after one week since the release of beta 6, and you can see the exact size that for me on my Apple Watch Series 6, updating from beta 6 to beta 7, is exactly 169 megabytes. Now, obviously, this is not all that Apple released today, so if we go to the Apple developer website, you can see some other updates updates that Apple released besides watchOS 8 beta 7. So we have tvOS 15 beta 7, iPadOS 15 beta 7, iOS 15 beta 7, and surprisingly there is no macOS 12 beta 6 or 7. So we are yet to see a beta 6 or 7 of macOS 12 Monterey which is kind of strange, but maybe they are holding it back because of universal control or because of some issues that they are trying to fix. But that's something that has been updated. Now, let me show you something that's here when it comes to my Apple Watch. So if we go into the settings and go to the about this watch section, you can see that the software version has made a huge positive jump here. So the build number that we have on watchOS 8 beta 7 is 19R5340A and when you see a build number that has an A at the end that is always something positive. So on the previous beta which was beta 6 we actually had a build number that ended with a D and in case you are curious on beta 6 the build number was 19R5340 D and from a D to an A that's a positive jump of about three steps which is a good thing so hopefully this update fixes a lot of bugs or issues that you are experiencing on your older series when it comes to battery and so on so that is the build number or the software version now I want to show you a new change that came with this update. I'm sure you saw this on my iPhone that I had it on focus mode here because when it comes to new features and changes, there have been some wording change and also some focus improvements between the iPhone and on the Apple Watch. So if you go into your focus and create a new focus, this is one that I was midway um, during the creation process. So if we click done and you can see that this focus mode is called recording. So now on my Apple Watch, if I'm to go there, I should be able to enable focus. So let's do this. And if we go to where it says focus, you can see that I have the recording focus mode here. And if I enable this, let's say for one hour, since I'm going to be recording for one hour, and then we click done. And if I go to my iPhone here, you can see that the notification that this focus recording is on was actually there. So you can see it's on until 17.44. So focus, the point of this is to show you that focus carries over across all your devices, be it the Apple Watch or the iPhone. But then the wording change has to do with this. So if you go into your settings and then go to where it says focus, you will see all the different focus modes that you have set on your Apple devices. It can be on your iPhone. So you see the same focus modes on the iPhone. So you can see there's quite a bit. You can always customize and create more. But if you go all the way down of the list, you will see where it says mirror my iPhone. And it says turn on a focus for iPhone will also turn it on for Apple Watch. So I did that on the iPhone and we saw that on the Apple Watch, it's also there and on the iPhone it's there. But then when you turn off this mirror iPhone, it says turn on a focus for iPhone will not affect your Apple Watch. So this means that if I'm to come here on the iPhone and switch focus from, for example, from recording to do not disturb, then my Apple Watch is stuck in um, camera since it's not being mirrored by the focus that's on the iPhone. So if we go to the focus mode here, you notice that it was on uh, recording because that's the emoji for it. But as you can see here, the iPhone is in do not disturb and the Apple Watch is actually in uh, 
nothing at all since i removed it in recording you can see the smiley emoji that is the one that depicts recording and on the iphone if i select work like this so i've selected work you notice that on the apple watch it's actually not being mirrored so the wording change has been uh, updated to make it a little bit simpler to understand that when you turn off mirror my iphone the focus won't be mirrored on your apple watch i believe before on the previous beta 5 and 6 it said turning off focus for apple watch will require you to set up focus separately for apple watch so you can see that this is more simpler than this for me i always like to mirror my focus but that's the wording change that has to do with focus when it comes to this update and basically uh, that is uh, the major change that came with this update it has to do with focus so I'll go back to my recording and then also something that I wanted to show you when it comes to this update it fixes an issue that had to do with focus mode where you could not switch from uh, a focus mode other than do not disturb on the Apple watch so on your iPhone you could be able to switch focus but on the Apple watch once you switch to like another the focus mode like personal or work other than do not disturb it would always revert back but you can see here that i can be able to switch focus from personal to do not disturb or to even recording for a specific period of time so this is also again mirrored on the iphone if you have the setting enabled and that is the only actual change that i was able to find when it comes to this update so it's a good thing and it's if you do use focus and it helps you out a lot you can always check it out on this update once you do and when it comes to the release notes or anything that has been mentioned there isn't a lot that have actually been mentioned besides the fact that apps installed on your apple watch aren't available sometimes when it comes to focus so when you create a new focus on your iphone right there's uh, a section where you can choose apps or allow apps uh, that you want to uh, enable for your focus so let's name this a random thing and then uh, we'll click here uh, and then go to next and you can see uh, you allowed contacts and then allowed apps in this focus so apps that were downloaded on the apple watch or that are on the apple watch might not show for some reason when it comes to watch os 8 beta 7 so that is a known issue it's a new one that wasn't there before and also on top of that when it comes to watch os 8 beta 6 and 7 so far some users have been complaining of slow performance so for me so far on my apple watch series 6 i haven't been facing like major slow issues or jira delay and so on um, i'm quite fortunate in fact and when it comes to battery drain my battery has hasn't been the greatest but it's it's average when it comes to this watch os 8 betas for me it's more of the series 4 and lower that are being affected by this focus mode or by this beta update rather so for me on my series 6 it's not a big big issue i'm still getting about a day of charge it's not the greatest because i used to get like a day or so of battery so hopefully when the final version comes out battery will be improved significantly now other than that that's how this update came in for me you can see it was last charged two hours ago and i've used three percent i was checking different focus modes creating focus settings and so on because this update changed a lot when it comes to focus and you can see my maximum health capacity that it's still on 94 and previously on watch os 8 beta 6 it was on 94 so no change when it comes to that aspect now that's how this update came in for me now in terms of when this update could be released you can see that now apple is on a weekly release cycle when it comes to these releases so most probably between the 31st of august to the 2nd of september somewhere between next week tuesday to thursday that's when we are going to see watch os 8 beta 8 which is interesting since this already has an a build number at the end so i'm curious to see what apple is going to do with the beta 8 update which i'm also going to be covering here on the channel now other than that guys that's how this watch os 8 beta 7 came in for me on my apple watch series 6 
again i will be covering ios 15 beta 7 which just came out now now so stay tuned and subscribe and thanks very much for watching let me know what you're going to be doing with this update are you going to be updating or not or are you going to wait for the official version now other than that that's about it for me stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video very soon peace